बिसमीम एडवांस माइक्रो इकनॉमिक्स लेक्चर फाइव वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पे ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ऑफ अ गेम इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी वर डिस्कसिंग गेम थ्योरी एंड नो वी सी वट इज़ द पे ऑफ मैट्रिक्स एक्चुअली वी हैव डिस्कस द पे ऑफ एंड वट्स द पे ऑफ मैट्रिक्स actually uh such kind of table which is showing all the types of outcomes which is possible for the two types of player that are playing into the same game and uh, uh these type of uh, uh possible combinations of different strategies so uh, we can finally define what is the pay of matrix that is the table showing the outcome of all the possible combination of strategies by two players in a गेम एंड इट शो एक्चुअली ऑल टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रेटीज ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ यू कैन सी ऑल टाइप ऑफ गेम्स द प्लेयर कैन प्ले इन टू अ गिवन फॉर्म आर गिवन सिचुएशन वी कैन एक्सप्लेन पी ऑफ मैट्रिक्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल see here uh, let's see form a and form b both the firms have two type of strategies form a can play two type of strategies that is a1 and a2 similarly form b can play two type of strategies that is b1 b2 and b3 how we can understand it first you see strategy a1 and if form a if form a play strategy a1 it's mean when form a play strategy a1 form b can play strategy b1 b2 and b3 so what what type of combination we will obtain a1 b1 a1 b2 a1 b3 you have to join the points like this like this a1 a1 b1 a1 b2 and then a1 b3 like this similarly we will have to join the points like this a2 a2 b1 a2 b2 and a2 b3 and like uh, you can see here if form 1 form a play strategy a1 it's mean it can be a1 b1 a2 a1 b2 and a1 b3 and uh, what will be the situation when form a play strategy a1 and form b play strategy b1 i clear the situation so you can see it from the table when form uh, a play strategy a1 it's mean that form a uh, gains 1% of the game while the form b that can play b1 b2 and b3 so form a gains a1 while form b it loses similarly when the form a plays strategy a1 and form b2 b plays strategy b2 it will be a1 and b2 at this situation the form will have to face zero gain and zero loss and uh, if form b play strategy b3 it will be a1 b3 and form will loss 2% uh, for will obtain 2% similarly if form a play strategy a2 no first we see strategy a1 strategy a1 no we see strategy a2 if form a play strategy a2 there will be the three similarly there will be the three options that form b can play strategy b1 b2 and b3 similarly you have to join the combination a2 and b1 a2 b2 a to b 3 what will be the results when a to b 1 is mean minus 2% loss when will be the strategy a to b 2 it will be loss that will be minus 1% and when the form a wants to enjoy 
without choosing any type of profit or gain the firm is playing the game a to b3 it's mean there will be zero some game or loss so the judge will be zero this type of actually game uh, where the game of this nature where the gain of one firm where the gain of one firm equals the losses of second firm so it's mean total gains plus total loss are equal to zero it's mean it's called zero sum it's called zero sum game zero sum game for example you see here a1 b1 in the table you see a1 b1 it's the one percent one percent it's the one percent and this is the one percent gain of form a while it's the one person loss from the from b side similarly you can see her one person loss and one person gain and a a gains one percent a gains one percent while from B losses one person finally it's the tree diagram which I formulate and you can see it you can see it what's finally you can see different types of game theory game theory actually two main types cooperative games and non-cooperative games and non-cooperative game is divided into further and non-cooperative game is further divided into finite game and infinite game and infinite game is further divided into zero-sum game and non-zero-sum game Mm, we will detail discuss about these types into the next lecture and we will have to solve the numericals on each type so we can understand the concept of zero-sum game and non-zero-sum game the next point is what is the Nash equilibrium next is uh, Nash equilibrium and what is the Nash equilibrium Nash equilibrium is uh, actually the outcome detailed once uh, achieved means no player can increase payoff by changing decisions and uh, it is also uh, can cause not no regrets remember this when you listen naturally it's mean no regrets and uh, once decision is made player will have two regrets concerning decisions considering the consequences natural equilibrium actually no regrets and uh, it's mean uh, the player uh, once the player have taken the decision he will have uh, not any kind of regret in this sense considering uh, keeping in mind all types of consequences which he or she will have to face by after playing so finally it uh, uh, there can be more than one equilibrium in the game because consumer or uh, uh, the player has to play in such a uh, situation that uh, there can different type of strategies in front of him and uh, the consumer uh, the player has to face all type of strategies there can be a uh, number of strategies and uh, it's uh, depend upon the player that with type of strategy he has to choose for obtaining the maximum um, outcomes in favor of him and on it we will solve the numerical examples in which situation actually Nash equilibrium is used Nash equilibrium is used when there is no dominant strategy into the given game the uh, player will have to play Nash equilibrium next one is what is the mixed strategy mixed will show that strategies which a uh, player will have to choose uh, in uh, case of different situations 
actually let's see um, big strategy exists in a strategy game when the player does not choose one definite action means you are in between of two situations chooses according to the probability distribution over his action imagine you are in nando's now for the, you can take the examples of a restaurant and uh, where you want to choose um, uh, between two products like uh, you are considering choosing lemon and uh, herb or lemon choosing lemon and herb or will herb sauce for your chicken and uh, how will you choose you are uh, you are having two type of uh, uh, possibilities if you choose lemon and herb you are having the possibility of 50 percent it means one hour two half and if you are going to choose herb will herb it means you are having 50 percent of possibilities and this is the remaining half of your game or possibility so how will you choose Actually, uh, in the pure strategies, the consumer player assign 100% probability to one plan of action. While in mixed strategy, because you are having two types of option, option first, 50%, and option two is also 50%. And uh, this type this type of strategy which is having two type of possibilities half to relate it with one possibility and half percent with another possibility these two type of probabilities is actually showing the behavior of mixed strategy and uh, how do we bother about mixed strategy there are cases uh, where a pure strategy equilibrium does not exist and uh, we find the probability for the player willing to randomize between the actions it means which uh, type of strategy the player will adopt and uh, how much probability is attached to such type of strategy and uh, how much expected payoff the player is having from the prescribed actions or from the mentioned strategy which the player is going to adopt next one is the prisoner's dilemma and what is the prisoner's dilemma actually prisoner's dilemma is the well-known example of game theory considering the example of two criminals arrested for a crime let's explain it with the help of uh, uh, <coughs> an example for example two prisoners uh, <coughs> two prisoners and uh, one prisoner uh, confesses and prisoner one uh, confesses prisoner two does not it means that prisoner one is uh, get three years and prisoner two will get nine years and another will be the case is the case one and what will be the second case if prisoner two confesses and prisoner one does not first of all the case prisoner one confesses and prisoner two does not second is the case when prisoner two confesses while prisoner does one does not it means that prisoner one will get 10 years and prisoner two will get two years and uh, each will serve two years in the so there will be the two years in the prison it's the two case <coughs> again repeat it prison's dilemma actually having the example of game theory and uh, let's suppose two criminals arrested into the crime and what will be the possibility they will have to present four deals on the display two into two box we will discuss in the further study two into two box and is the best example of the prisoner's dilemma two prisoners uh, one convince, uh, one prisoner one confesses and two does not and uh, one will get three years and prisoner two will get nine years and if prisoner two confesses and prisoner one does not this mean prisoner one will confess will get ten years and prisoner two will get two years and uh, next one is repeated games 
repeated as you repeat the lecture as i repeat the uh, you repeat the lesson i repeat the lecture and what is the repeated game actually uh, it's the extensive form game that consists of a number of repetitions repetitions that is going on to repeat to the day's game you mean at your initial game or stage game and uh, it uh, uh, is the worst study two person game repeated games actually capture the idea that player will have to take into account the impact of his or her current action on the future actions of their players and this impact is sometimes called his or her repetition repetition means uh, the player will have to play the game keeping in mind its initial game and a single stage game or the single shot game and uh, these are we can also call it non repeated game to the initial game mean stage game or initial game is also called non repeated games and what are the repeated games which are having the number of repetitions in brief you can recall it what are the repeated game the games which are having the number of repetitions of some base game this is the main thing you have to keep into mind in the fourth lectures we will do the numericals on the game theory and on all the different types of game theory we will do the applications of game theory on these theoretical topics <clears throat> if you have any kind of question related to the topic please do and describe your question into the comment bar we will discuss it <clears throat> please like and subscribe the video for getting the upcoming videos on the applications of game theory allah is